Okay, so I've been using stone brick to make my base here. And uh, it's taking a while to make all the brick. Made a few furnaces here. But uh, kind of got time to keep replacing all the coal in here and all the, putting all the stone in here and taking out the brick. So I uh, figured out a way to do it automatically. So I was using this one here. And I figured out that you could just use hoppers and other chests to keep restocking it by itself. So what I did is make sure you shift click a hopper on top of this furnace, then shift click a chest on top of that, and then you can get all your stone. No, as much as stone as you can fit in that chest. Put it in there. You can see it already starts draining out into the half and then into the furnace. Well, you can put some directly into the half at first. Make that quicker. But that'll keep draining into it. Going into the furnace. And then, I, uh, you can shift click another hopper to the side here. And then you fill it with coal. And that starts going right into there, too. Again, you can just put that in right away and have the first openings in here. Um, if you want, I mean, I'm sure the coal will last a while, but if you want, you can uh, shift click. <coughs> Shift click a chest on top of that. Fill that with coal too. That way, you never have to do it yourself again. So that gets drains into this hopper, and the hopper goes into the furnace. Making all kinds of stone. Um, oh, I'm making stone, not stone bricks. Okay, but uh, then. This you'd still have to collect it, but uh, what I did was uh, go under it. Yeah, I got another room down there, but uh, this is just for a demonstration. Um, actually, I don't have to go down there. That's so where I crawl my sugar can inside. So uh, under the furnace, you can shift click another hopper under it. Then all the stone will get put into there. Then you put one last chest, shift click it to that. And then all of your stone will be collected into this chest. So now you don't have to do anything. All of the stone will go in, all the coal will go in, and all the stone will go out to there, all by itself. So that's your automatic stone farm. <laughs> well, of course, you have to uh, find the. Uh, Together with cobblestone or sand and coal, but and also actually, if you would like to the coal to last longer, what you could do is probably uh, take your coal and uh, make some uh, coal blocks and just fill that, fill this with coal blocks, and make more stone and last longer. So, that would be pretty cool. I'm just going to use the coal for now. Though. But yeah, hope you like this. I'm, I'm sure it's been done before, but I didn't, I didn't search this up or anything. It's just something I just came up with on my own. But it's not very complicated at all. But there it is. Right, totally. And of course, uh, you just put this all on the same level, so you don't have to go through the floor or anything. But, uh, hope you like it. Thanks for watching.